Freedom has a price, and that price sometimes takes sacrifice. But folks, the road to this freedom has been has been paved with the, with the blood of our ancestors, who have dedicated everything they had for the freedoms we enjoy today. And we could, of course, go through all the books. And I and I want to talk just briefly. And I know it's very briefly. Uh, as uh, he put this timer out here. Uh, but anyway, I'm, I'm trying to hold my hand over it so it doesn't go off too loud. But anyway, I, I want to appreciate what you guys have done. And I want to appreciate you taking the time to come down here. And these are thousands of these little parties held all over this nation. You just can't be what is called, as our founders refer to oftentimes, as sunshine patriots. Folks, this isn't just today. We need you every day. You need to be involved every single day. If you want to mow the most powerful position in America today, precinct committeemen, how many of you are involved in your legislative districts and making sure you elect conservative leadership, conservative legislators, conservative folks who lead this party, conservative folks we send to Washington, D.C., people that respect the taxpayer, respect your freedoms, and understand their duty to God and country and their family. It's about time we quit returning those folks who don't keep their oaths of office. I know that sounds harsh, but folks, I mean for it to be a little harsh. I'm just disappointed. 80% of you, 80% of you pull after pull once your law is enforced, your border is secured, so nobody's listening. What is wrong with them? And I mentioned it on J.D.'s show a little earlier, and I'm going to take just a moment to talk about it because I think it's one of the greatest threats you have to this republic. And folks, again, we are a republic, not a democracy, for a very good reason. And I, and I wish you'd correct those folks who use that term, democracy. Once you learn you can vote yourself your neighbor's stuff, you'll be voting yourself your neighbor's stuff. We're a republic for a reason, because it protects the majority and the minority. 